Brian Abel here with your 7 Action News headlines. A third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine is now available to some people in Michigan. The FDA and the CDC have approved booster shots for people with compromised immune systems. CVS Pharmacy is announcing it's ready to help protect those who are immunocompromised. It started Saturday morning. People were able to book appointments to receive extra doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. A spokesperson for the company says people will be required to attest to their eligibility during the scheduling process and when they get the third shot. Surveillance video capturing the terrifying moments inside a 7-Eleven in Ferndale when a man pulled a gun on a cashier. The hooded man walking into the store on Nine Mile with his face covered and then seconds later he holds up a long gun covered by a sheet. Police say the man got away with some cash, but they caught up with him later. We're told the suspect tried to run away, and that's when officers shot him. At last check, he's still in critical condition. Investigators believe the man was also involved in a carjacking and shooting in Detroit. Tens of thousands of customers are still in the dark days after a strong storm slammed Metro Detroit. As of Saturday night, DTE Energy said there were still around 120,000 customers without power. DTE is aiming to have 95% of the outages fixed by the end of the day Sunday. The company has 2,800 workers working 16-hour shifts. Let's go check our forecast now with Mike Taylor. Mike. Hey, thanks, Brian. We're going to have some temperatures that are going to feel like fall in some spots. 51 in Lapeer, down towards Ann Arbor at 51 degrees as well. Port Huron, 54. Closer to the city, closer to the 60s at 59, but it's going to stay clear for Sunday, too.